Uh, I, I think it would be amazing. Um, definitely would be a blessing for sure. Um, something that uh, we hope and pray for, but at the end of the day, it's not a decision. So the rules missing. What was anything missing? Like you normally found it. This team has been a resilient, take a punch, give a punch type team. What do you think is missing today? I think just simple execution. I think at the end of the day, we have uh, one too many stall outs. Uh, I think we had one too many mistakes. And sometimes that catches up to you. When you talk about mistakes, how many of those are, like you said, execution on your end, and how many of those are forced by what Alabama's doing? How, how did that break down? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I think they definitely had uh, some things schemed up. There were, there were a couple plays that kind of knew what was coming uh, as far as just, I think they kind of called it out. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think there were a lot of times when they didn't know what was going on and we just messed it up, plain and simple. Um, it's football. Sometimes you watch film and you can figure some things out. Sometimes they don't know. And, you know, we found a way to kind of mess it up a little bit. So I think it's just uh, wins and losses. And I think we had a little bit, little too many losses there. Is the toughest part about this loss the fact that you guys no longer control your own destiny? Um, I mean, maybe. Uh, but at the end of the day, it wasn't about that for us. Uh, my biggest thing was we wanted to be SEC champions. We wanted the uh, honor to be able to represent this great conference. And that was the biggest thing was just uh, being named SEC champions would have been a, a huge honor for us. The, the fumble there is the third of the From your perspective, kind of what went wrong there? I don't know. I, I had nothing to do with it. I have no idea. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was a mistake somewhere. Um, doesn't matter who. It doesn't need to be fingers pointed. At the end of the day, we didn't execute as a team. So. How did the loss guys, of Amarius affect you guys, you think? I can't How did the loss of Amarius affect you guys, you think? I mean, I would say little. Uh, just for a simple fact of, I think that some guys have stepped up all year. Um, it's definitely not a good excuse to, to, uh, to start using uh, this time. People always say that you learn kind of during the hardest times. But in current instance, the first loss in 29 games, what do you think you can learn about this team? That's a great question. I think uh, the biggest thing you can learn is just, um, let me say this, I think it'll be a culture builder. I think it'll be a culture builder for some of those younger guys. I think that um, some of the older guys have experienced uh, things like this. And it's, it's just something that has come, uh, not often, but it's something that we've experienced. Um, I think the biggest thing is that the younger guys have to learn from this. They have to feel this. They have to um, embrace this and just continue to work and go from it. Do you believe that you're still one of the best four teams that should be the college football uh, I believe we're a great team. Uh, ultimately, that's not up for us to decide. Um, the committee has a tough job to do, and we're going to let them do it. Um, we had an opportunity to make our case on the field. We didn't do it, though. So. Do you have to go to the TV tomorrow? Is that for you No, I, I wasn't going to watch it regardless. Why not? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, got to get better. So, so the four 